Draw the shear and bending moment diagrams for de by definition of this 3 meter beam with the three point moments on it. 9 newton meters clockwise, 2 newton meters counterclockwise, and 4 newton meters clockwise. The first thing you want to do is always draw a free body diagram. This is a wall, so if I remove the wall, I have to add two forces and a moment. I get to pick the direction for my moment at the wall. Summing the forces in the x direction tells me that ax is equal to zero, ay is equal to zero, because there aren't any forces in the x and y direction. And if you sum the moments at the, at the wall, for example, I have m at the wall, where this is positive, minus nine plus two minus four equals zero. m at the wall is 11 newton meters. Now, as I'm going through this beam, there are three places where something changes. So I need to draw three pieces of beam. One that would be before I get to the nine meters, one that would be before I get to the two meter newton meters, and one that would be before I get to the four newton meters. In each of these cases, the length of the whole thing is x, and I have my reactions at the wall, 11 newton meters. In the first case, I don't have the nine, in the second case, I do. In the third case, I have both the nine newton meters and the two newton meters. And in all of the cases, I have my internal forces and moments, V, N, and M, V, N, and M, and V, N, and M. Now, V and N are always equal to zero because I don't have any axial forces or, or shear forces. For the first case, with F zero less than X less than one, my moment is negative 11. For the second one, where I have 1 less than x less than 2, my moment is negative 2. And for 2 less than x less than 3, my moment is negative 4. Now I can graph this. My v and my n diagrams are e equivalently equal to 0. These don't actually accomplish anything at all. But my n diagram, m diagram, has values. Between 0 and 1, it is negative 11. Then it jumps up to minus 2. Then it goes back down again to minus 4 and comes up to 0. Notice that you, in fact, do get back to 0, which means you have satisfied equilibrium.